Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So I'm gonna warn you upfront, if you're an extremely techie person and you're wondering why the heck is this guy making a video about this, this is not the video for you. This is for the average Joe Schmo that has zero tech skills, that has never done anything like this, is not familiar with this, and may not even know why they want to do this. If that does sound like you, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to go from this stock, out of the box, hot mess of an Android TV or Fire TV to something like this, or pretty much whatever else you want it to look like. I like a super clean modern interface. What you're looking at right now is my NVIDIA Shield, which I've set up pretty much as a Plex client. That's all it does. It just sits here and plays Plex. So that's my main app concern. Everything else is still here. I've just got it neatly all tucked away so I don't have to see it. When I boot my device, this is my new home screen. This is what's called the launcher. The launcher is just an app. A lot of people think what you see when you boot up the device is the device itself. It's not. It's just a regular program running and you can change it. Now for comparison, here's the Apple TV. It's looked like this in many different generations for many different years. It's clean, it's slick, it's simple. It just works. It is for the quintessential Apple consumer. And I happen to like this interface because it's nice and modern and just gets you what you want. Launch your apps, bing, bang, boom. No ads, no recommendations, no extra layers, no rent this, buy this, nothing. You go into the app you want and you play it. It's as simple as that, but it's locked down. If you wanna change the way the icons look, where they are, bigger, smaller, you want a different wallpaper, you want the clock up there, weather widget, too bad. This is completely locked down. So if you want your own experience, here's what you do. So this is going to be for your Nvidia Shield, your Fire TV devices, your Android or Google TV boxes or smart TVs. Everything we're gonna do is gonna be very similar between every different device. There are slight differences and I'll try to touch on them. I'm gonna show you here on a Fire Stick 4K and I'll show you some things here on the Shield that are a little different. So the reason I'm making this video today is because it used to be a little bit simpler, but a couple weeks ago, Google decided to start removing things from the Play Store and Amazon followed suit, removing some things from their store because they don't want you to start blocking ads and installing your own launcher allows you to do that, to give you the cleaner interface. So the first thing we have to do is give ourselves some better permissions to control our own devices. On most Android boxes and your shield, you're gonna go into your settings, which is your gear icon, upper right hand corner of the stock launcher. And we're gonna go down to device preferences, about, and then way down to the build. And we're gonna click that seven times. And then it's gonna say enabling developer options. And that's gonna give us a little bit more control. And if you've already done so, as soon as you start clicking, you get this notice here. So I don't have to do anything, but that gives us down here at the bottom of device preferences, developer options. Then we can go into that, enable developer options, that first toggle, and go ahead and turn on network debugging. On a Fire device, go over to your settings, down to My Fire TV, click about, and then seven times on your Fire TV stick or whatever yours is called. And now we have developer settings. If we go back one menu, right here, developer options, and turn both of these on. These will allow us to install things that aren't in the store. After you've done that, go ahead and reboot your device. Mine happened to have an update pending, so it's doing it as well. Now we just need to install a program called Downloader. This will allow us to install things that aren't in the App Store. And some of these launchers are not in the App Store. You have to get them directly from the website. No big deal. Go into the App Store, go to Search, and then we're gonna put in Downloader. And there it is. Go ahead and install it. If you're on an Android device, same thing, except you're gonna to go to the Google Play Store and go up to search and put in Downloader. Go ahead and install it. Now 
So back here on the Fire TV, we're gonna open it and I'll show you how to use it. Allow use. Okay. All right, so basically we've got a search field here, an input field, and this is where we put in shortcuts or direct addresses and it will download whatever you point it to. Simple as it gets. So on the Fire TV here, I'm going to install a launcher called Wolf. Now there are a ton of different launchers out there. Some are actually still directly in the app stores that you can just install and you don't need to go through this, but the better ones aren't. So for Wolf, the address that you need to put in is the following, https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 3FY capital X capital I 8 capital Z. Now that's a shortened address. It's simpler than putting in the full address to the file. Now we're just going to click go. And it downloaded Wolf. We can go ahead and click install. Okay, now I'm gonna click done because I'm gonna show you exactly what to do from the start here. Status, great, we are done. And we can back out of downloader. Back to our home screen. So like I said, what you're looking at here is not the device itself. This is a launcher. This just happens to be the stock launcher. It's just like Netflix or Paramount or Peacock or Spotify. All these other apps are the same as what you're looking at here. The ads up top, the icons out of the bottom. This is just the way this particular launcher looks. So what we want to do is fire up Wolf. And by the way, everything we're doing is temporary. You can never delete your stock launcher. You can never break it. So don't ever worry about that. We're going to go to our app library. See, I'm going left and right here. App library. This is everything that we have on the Fire Stick and all the crap that it comes with installed. Don't worry, we can hide all of this. That little W on the bottom is what we just installed. That's Wolf. Go ahead and launch it. And here's the fun part. You can make your own home screen, whatever you want it to look like. There's tons of different options out there and some launchers are much more configurable even than this. So it's completely up to you. Do yourself a favor and Google best launcher for, and then put in whatever your device is. Nvidia Shield, Fire Stick 4K, your TV, Android TV box, you know, stuff like that. And you'll see all the different launchers that have all different kinds of options. So this is the Wolf Launcher. If you were to make this your default, this is how your device would look. No ads up top, but again, kind of looks like a hot mess, right? Well, don't worry, we can completely customize this. This is the difference between custom launchers and the stock ones. So to start customizing, we're gonna go down inside Wolf to Wolf Launcher and hold down the select button. That gets you our menu. Go down to Launcher Settings and we can start customizing. Sections is basically what you see. Right now, we just have a bunch of app icons. So if we manage sections, Applications is what you see, all the app icons. Maybe we would also like something else. So let's add, call it whatever you like. Say we want a clock. You don't have to label it if you don't want to. We'll just call it CL for now. Now we've got our next section in there. What do we want to do with it? We want to show it, hide it, show the title, hide the title, make it horizontal, vertical, sort whatever we put in there, how many columns, whatever you want to do. You want to put certain apps in this section, you can do that. You can change your mind and remove it. Do you want to hide some of these apps? Maybe you don't need to see all of them and you want to put them in a convenient folder, no problem. I don't care about that one. I don't care about that one. Pretty much none of these. We'll just kill all of these that we're not going to be using. Downloader I'll keep for now. Might install some different launchers. Who knows? These are folder shortcuts. Don't need these. 
stock stuff that it installs that you don't need. You can uninstall some of this stuff too, it doesn't make any difference. You got plenty of space on there. This is all just junk that comes with it. So bam, look at that. All of a sudden we've hidden a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe we want a different background picture. Now some launchers will have a big selection of stock wallpapers to choose from. Some make you only choose whatever you've uploaded yourself. Already looking pretty clean. Now if you do set up different sections, you can easily move the different icons from one to another. You can modify what's up top near the clock. You've got a little bit of a Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi and the date and all that. You can show or hide it if you wish. I never have anything plugged in USB. Uh, yeah, I do use Bluetooth headphones, network. It's always connected, I know that. Date and clock, maybe I don't want the date, I just want the time. Maybe you don't want to show any of it. Boom, there you go. Totally up to you. All right, let's take a look at one that I really prefer and I've put on my shield. This is one called Sideload Channel Launcher 4. It's only a few dollars, but man, does it look beautiful. Now this one is likewise very customizable. I have it set up very modern and clean. I've got everything down here hidden. I just have to scroll with my D-pad down and I've got all the different settings. These are the settings for the launcher itself. These are all the stock apps that are hidden and the Android stock settings are right here. I can go in app settings and pretty much change anything. Now this interface isn't quite as slick. This does have some more stuff that comes with it like a whole bunch of wallpapers, a lot more options for changing how the icons and everything look and feel and placement. You can literally move everything around the screen to be wherever you like. And it's a little more slick and detailed than Wolf. But again, Wolf is free. This is like three, four dollars. Totally worth it though in my book. Now one more important step is actually replacing this to be your stock launcher. So when you hit the home button on your remote, you don't go back to the stock launcher or when you reboot your device, you don't go back to the stock launcher. I've already done so here on the Shield. I'll show you how here on the Fire Stick. We're still inside Wolf here, but if I hit my home button, boom, we're right back to the way we were that we wanted to get rid of. <laughs> Let's fix that. Now this used to be as simple as going to the app store again and downloading a app, but this is one that they've removed from the Play Store and the Amazon store because it allows you to do things like kill their ads. So we can use Downloader to get it ourselves now. So go ahead and launch Downloader. And we're going to put in HTTPS colon slash slash bit.ly slash capital SWLMF118. Go and go. When you see this screen, go ahead and click install. That little icon is what we want. Launcher manager. Okay, go ahead and open it. Launcher Manager simply allows us to choose which launcher we want to use when the system reboots or you press the home button on your remote. So we're going to click Launcher Options. And this can change depending on the device. On the Fire Stick, this is what we need to do. Go down, first of all, Home Button Hook, which means remap the Home Button. We want to change that to On. There we go. Use ADB for home, on, trigger key, it's already set to the home button. Good. Click back. And now we're going to go down to custom launcher options. If it's not already set on the one you want, first of all, make sure it says active here. You can click on active launcher and then find whatever you want to be your active launcher. Ours in this case is Wolf, all the way at the bottom. So now, if we hit the home button on the remote or reboot, had to click it a couple times, but we get Wolf. And there we go. Now it's not quite as slick on the Fire TV. You can see that it momentarily goes to the stock when I click the button and then immediately launches Wolf. 
on Shield and other devices, it actually does totally replace it. This is kind of making a macro, if you will. It's automatically launching Wolf when it detects the stock screen. But still, you end up back here with whatever you program your launcher as. And of course, you can now hide the launcher manager and the downloader and the Wolf icons and put your Netflix and your Hulu and whatever you want to put here on your custom screen. But I definitely recommend you check this one out as well and others. Like I said, Google for them. Some are in the App Store, some you have to use Downloader for, but there are tons of different options out there for you. You can do whatever you want depending on the launcher. So that's it. Hope it helps. See you next time.